In today's video we build this awesome villager breeder and start making a transport system for them to go in. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Hello everybody and welcome to Xenocraft, the series where I do fun things in survival Minecraft. I create these videos every week on Sunday and use your guys' comments as inspiration. So if some crazy or normal ideas, comment them down below and I might make a video on it. But if you're completely new to my channel, hi, I'm Zeno. I make weekly Minecraft videos every Friday and Sunday and my goal is to guide, inspire and entertain through my videos. So if that sounds good, consider subscribing. But anyway guys, let's get on with the main video. Today, we are going to find a village, build a village breeder, and finally, to make a transport system for the villagers. So, let's get right on into it. Off camera guys, I did a few things. I firstly AFK'd at the AFK fish farm and got some decent books. And I also went mining for a bit, but unfortunately I didn't find anything too special. But in general, I didn't do much AFK work, so let's jump right on into the main video. Okay guys, you may have noticed I have 43 levels and in the last video we made an enchanting room so why don't we go put it to good use. Alright guys, now I'm thinking of enchanting my tools as just then I made some new diamond ones. Alright guys, so we're in the new enchanting room and what we're going to do is test out each new tool that I have and hopefully we can get something good. So I want silk touch on uh, either the pickaxe or the shovel and maybe some efficiency four on the diamond axe. But let's see what we get. So we got efficiency four, so that's what I wanted. Efficiency four and probably efficiency four. Okay, um, now I'll take the bite with the axe, I think, because all you really need on an axe is efficiency four. So let's go. Oh, dang it, I should have done that on my pickaxe. Oh well. Okay guys, so after we have a really good axe now we are going to now enchant our pickaxe so hopefully we can get silk touch as i said but let's see what we get okay i'm breaking three now should i take this because i do have an unbreaking three enchanted book from uh the fish farm but i am i'm a risky person so let's see what we get three two one okay I'm pretty nervous guys, oh. Now, don't get me wrong, efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3 isn't bad, it's just I was hoping for better. Lesson learned, don't get your hopes up. Alright guys, so let's actually get on with one of the main goals of today's video. Find a village. Okay guys, we found a zombie villager, right, uh, we need to enclose him, let's just kill any surrounding people, don't, okay. Uh, I don't have any blocks. Uh, one sec. Okay, he's safe. Awesome. All right, guys, very close in, but I'm really sorry about the audio quality on the past two clips. It's just basically because I was in a rush and I didn't want to go to my audio recorder software and then, you know, waste the opportunity. But uh, quick intrusion, let's keep going on the video. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but over there, we have a village and also over there i'll zoom in so you can see better we have a swamp let's go make our way over there right now all right guys so we're in the village and as you can see down there we have a farmer which we're going to trap because we need a farmer for the villager breeder but also here look we have some jack-o-lanterns which is awesome definitely going to snap these up and i'm also going to take some pumpkins so maybe in the future we can make a awesome pumpkin farm one villager trapped two villagers trapped all right guys now we have the two villagers that we need we now need to think of a way to transport them now obviously round i would say around 300 blocks away from our base so that's going to take a lot of rails now in the last episode we found a mine shaft i'm going to go there and get some rails okay guys so in the middle of me getting some more rails uh we found a mob spawner so that's been good. I'm pretty sure it's a zombie because there is plenty of those around right now. Oh, okay. Right, so let's just, you know, quickly get rid of this. Go like that. And we have a spawner now. We are definitely going to be making an XP thing here sometime. 
let's see what we get in here oh two 13 discs awesome and efficiency three i'm not going to take that uh saddle don't need that and i'm not going to take the redstone okay well um i'm gonna just quickly nail that down and uh let's get on with the rest of the grinding Okay guys, now I am back and was able to collect three and a bit stacks of rails, which is nothing, but we better get started transporting the villagers. So we're back at the village and now it's time for the very long process of transferring the two villagers. You're finally here. Two and a half hours later, both villagers are in. Alright guys, so now that we have the two villagers in place, I'm going to go and get some sand so we can make some glass. Alright guys, now I have everything I need, let's get building this farm. Alright guys, so I, what I'm thinking of doing is putting the uh, villager breeder, so where all the new villagers are made, just like plop down here and then the villager breeder will be up in the sky over there. That's what we're going to do, I'm now going to build it. Drop hole is complete, drop shoe is complete. Alright guys, so the breeder is complete, well, partly complete, we need, still need to transfer the villagers from down near the base to up here, but uh, I just want to mention, I don't know if I did last time, but this design was made by Wattles, I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay guys, now the way we are going to get the villagers up is just by doing a straight staircase and then putting a railway system on it so the villagers can get up. Now what we will have to do is in, to ensure that one of them gets the farmer profession, because that's basically the key to how this farm works, is to only put the composter there so that he gets it straight away, or she, you never know, uh, but I need to craft some powered rails. Okay guys, so as you can see here, the villager breeder is complete. We have the two villagers in, one a farmer, one a fisherman. And right now it's working hours, so they won't try and breed. But basically when it is meeting time, I think that's the actual name of it, they will actually start to breed. And what I'll pretty much explain how it will work. So they will make a baby and then hopefully when the baby wants to go and into one of the unclaimed beds, it will walk into this then the water will push it down there and then there's another water stream pushing it down the tube where eventually if i can get out of here quickly it will lead to the uh that little four by four box so that's how it works off camera guys of course i'm going to afk at the villager breeder but instead of just at afking at our new farm we will also be afking here and uh, hopefully they won't die to a zombie. And finally, I may go mining a bit more, depending on if I have enough time. But anyway guys, this is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed. I upload different Minecraft videos every Friday and Sunday, so be sure to check the next video out by subscribing and hitting the bell. And also comment down below if you want to see more, and possibly if you have any video ideas for me to do. And leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and want to support the channel. But I will catch you on the flip side guys. See ya.